Hi everyone, I'm hopeful that all you will be fine. In today's session, I will show you how you can actually validate your event notification URL. Zoom have recently changed the flow before going to activate or enable the webhooks from Zoom Marketplace. So for that, you can see here inside the features tab, Zoom is recently launched the secret token flow. Previously, we have a verification token inside the authorization header when Zoom is going to sending the payloads. But now Zoom is going to providing a secret token and we first need to validate the event notification URL. You can see that thing inside the event subscription when, when you are going to enable the events and you just click on add event and here you can see when you are setting some URI inside the event notification URL. You can see here the next you can see here the validate button is enabled. You first need to validate your event URI and then the webbox will be activated. So for that validation, we first need to create a validation logic on our webbox endpoint on our backend. So I have already Node.js running API where I'm just going to create a post endpoint where we will receive the zoom webhooks so i'm just naming it endpoint the webhooks endpoint called a plot post slash api slash zoom slash events and then calling async request response and here i'm just going to define validate and first we need to check if the event is regarding the url validation then we need to get the plain token from the request.body payload then we need to hex that token using the crypto package and then we will response back the both plain and hash tokens okay so that zoom can validate so now first we need to check request.body dot event name is equal to endpoint dot url validation and then we need to import the crypto package so here we can say const crypto and we say require and crypto and at the bottom we need to call the crypto helper so we say late encrypted token and we call crypto dot create hmac so we call this helper and we need to set the algorithm which is a sha 256 again okay? and here we need to pass the secret okay our key and that you that key you can get from the marketplace inside the feature step you can see you have a secret token you just need to copy that token and navigate to your project. I'm just going to store that inside the environment variables. So I'm naming it zoom event validation token. Testing that here and just copying this variable name and just setting that here. Okay. So I'm just calling process.env dot zoom event validation token. We have a typo mistake. So I'm just copying back and setting that here. And then you need to call update. Here you need to set the data or a plain token. So we will get the plain token from request.body.payload.plain token. And then we need to call digest, set hex, okay? And at the end, we have a hash token or encrypted token. Then we need to return the response.json. And inside that, we need to send both plain and encrypted token. So we say here, plain token and we will get that plain token from request.body.payload.plain token okay and we say encrypted token and we will set the encrypted token need to format the code and then we need to start the api so we say here npm start now we first need to open the terminal where i'm just going to use the ng rock uh, tunnel package you can use any tunnel package there are many packages in a market like ng rock like local tunnel so i'm just opening the terminal and inside the terminal i'm just going to bind the local port and i'm saying here in ng rock http and my port where currently api is running is a port thousand just i am hit enter and then we need to copy this uri and then we need to set that uri on our app event subscriptions so I'm just changing that here and I'm setting the relative path called API zoom events. Okay, you can see this path we have created here recently. So API zoom events. Now just click on a validate button. And you can see we have successfully validated. So I'm hopeful that you have enjoyed the session. If you have any query regarding the session, then just please place your queries inside the video comment section. Either you can share your queries and suggestions via my share contact details. Hopefully we will come back with another session. Take care. Bye-bye.